Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishala. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I will give you a brief idea about uh, registering into different top ML conferences. So recently my paper got accepted as you know uh, in uncertainty of AI or UI conference that is one of the top ML conference uh, internationally happening. And for this conference, I was doing the registration. So that's why the whole process, uh, you know, I thought of share with you so that you know all of you who are interested about doing ml research in the future and want to know that how to register for the conference and what is the procedure that you will have a rough idea so that's that that would be the content of this video i'll be explaining you about the registration process how it started you know what are the steps to follow and i'll give you a demo of uh, you know how it should be done so if you're interested about this video please stay tuned to the video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel so that whenever i upload a video you will get instant notification with a further ado let's start into today's video now first let's talk about that why you need to register for a conference so first of all, suppose you have a paper that is published in the in the, in the conference or, or, or it's, it's provisionally accepted in, in that conference, then you know you have to present the paper in the conference. So that's why you need to register for the conference and it will give you an entry pass to the conference that you can attend the conference and then you can present your paper there. On the other hand, suppose you don't have any paper, but still you want to attend the conference to gain some knowledge. So it may happen you are a first year, uh, you know, PhD student, you have a funding to visit some country where the conference is happening, but you don't have any paper as such. But then also, uh, you know, you can, you can register for the conference and you can attend the conference, see different talks that is there, gain idea, and that will be helpful for you. So these are two cases that is available, whether you have a paper or you don't have a paper, in both the cases, you can register for the conference and attend the conference. So registration is kind of an entry pass, you can say, to the conference. Now there are two modes that is available now, one is in-person mode and one is online mode. So in-person mode means obviously you will be going to the venue and then you will be attending for the conference. On the other hand, online mode, suppose you don't have the money or you don't have the fund to go for the venue, then you can you can join in, a, in an online mode. In both the cases, uh, whether you have a paper or not, that doesn't matter. Now coming to the fact that you know how much money you have to pay. So that also that also differs from conference to conference. For this particular conference, UAI, how much you have to pay that I'll be showing you shortly in the demonstration. But from conference to conference varies and most of the time it's around 300 to 500 dollar you have to pay. And this is the money that is there for the students and for, for, for non-students it's a bit higher like from 400 to 600 this is the range uh, that is being there 400 to 600 dollar uh, for registering in different uh, top ml conferences now there is a uh, there is a there is one thing that i want to mention here that you know you can apply for the scholarship here to waive off your conference uh, registration fee so suppose you have a paper in the conference and you are coming from a you know developing country like india or or any any uh, third world country then what you can do is you can apply for the uh, registration web of uh, application or for the scholarship in that case what happen is that you have to give a justification first of all that why you are applying for you know waiving of the registration fee for the conference and obviously you know you can mention about you know you don't have any fund and all those things you have to mention and you have to apply and then in most of the cases for the developing country uh, these conferences they used to uh, you know wave off the registration fee and in that case they will give you a coupon code uh, so you have to apply that coupon code and then the total money that will be there uh, that will be deducted and you don't have to pay anything so this is something that i have been following for last couple of conferences in AAA also i applied for uh, you know registration fee wave off and that also uh, granted and this time also in UAI also I have applied for of registration application and it got approved and you know I, I'm going to apply that particular coupon code that is there. So this is the one thing that you, you keep in mind and also one thing is there there are you know two timeline uh, within which you can you can register for the conference one is early bird uh, that means you know as early as possible you are registering for a conference so there the fee will be a bit lesser like I'm saying for this particular conference $350 is for the early bird but you miss the deadline of the early bird and if you are uh, doing a late registration uh, then you have to pay it, pay a bit uh, extra maybe $100 extra so that is also one thing that you should keep in mind that whenever your paper will be accepted you first check you know what is the registration money 
and what is the deadline for you know doing doing the registration so don't miss the first deadline because uh, you know in the within the first deadline the money is uh, lesser but after that the money will be increasing so so then you have to pay a bit more and also one thing i forgot to mention here that if you are applying for this scholarship to waive off your registration fee and if it is granted then you might have to do some sort of voluntary work in different sessions in the conference so that is the voluntary work that you have to do and because of that your registration fee is getting waive off so please keep this into mind that if your registration fee is being waive off then maybe in the conference venue uh, during the conference you have to do some kind of voluntary work like you know managing some session or be in the help desk and so on and so forth yeah, now i will show you the you know how i have uh, registered for this particular conference so i'll uh, you know move you to my computer screen this is the form that i have to fill up uh, where you know i have to give all my details for the conference registration uh, so as you know this is uai uh, 2023 where my paper got accepted this conference on uncertainty in artificial intelligence it's happening in pittsburgh uh, usa from 31st July to 4th August which I will be traveling uh, now first you have to choose among uh, in, among the registration type I mean in which category you will be registering uh, so if you look here so there are four categories that is in person student that means in person participation of a student that is uh, $325 uh, if you if you if you are going for early birth that is if you are registering uh, before to enjoy 2022 you have to pay 325 and if you are doing after that then you have to pay for uh, 450 dollar similarly for online only students so if you are a student but you are you want to participate in online then you have to give 100 dollar if you are applying uh, early but if you are if you if you are if you are uh, registering after that then it will be 150 dollar now if you are not a student then for your in-person participation registration fee is $450 uh, before June 22nd and if it's after that then $600 and if you are a non-student and you want to join online then uh, it's like approximately $150 uh, before 22nd June and uh, if after that then it's $250 so there are four categories that is there so as I am a student and I will be uh, participating in person so that's why I am choosing the first one for a banquet ticket so already they are giving a banquet ticket uh, for a registration but if you want another one then you, for additional ticket you have to pay $80 but I won't be taking that so that's why I haven't, I haven't filled this up for my student status I have given my uh, you know student I card from IIT Kharagpur for paper accepted that's why I, uh, I have chosen yes this is my paper ID I'll be presenting the paper that's why I have chosen yes and again the same paper ID uh, I don't have any paper in the workshop so that's why I have chosen no I will be volunteering for discussion of any paper and the, the topic I have chosen is uh, related to graph neural network and graph ML and yeah so total was $325 no? they have approved my uh, scholarship and that's why uh, you know they have waived up my registration fee so that's why they have given me a coupon that I have applied so that's why you know the whole $325 uh, has been waived up so discount is uh, been applied so that's why I don't have to pay anything so that's it and yeah uh, the registration is successful so that's about the whole process of registration in a, in a top ml conferences and i hope you have an idea about the whole process now so please keep in my mind this uh, you know first deadline you shouldn't miss because the money is less than and then you know don't forget to apply for the uh, you know scholarship to waive off your registration fee so that is there in almost in all top ml conferences now so there will be a link in the website and where there will be a google form you have to fill up and you have to give a justification and then through this you know process that i have just demonstrated you that you have to fill all the details and at the end there will be money and you have to apply for the coupon code so coupon code will be different for different conferences and and different for different individual and this is how you have to register for the conference so that's it guys the registration is done now almost all the things are over for this particular conference there is just one and a half month left i'll be moving to us on 29th of uh, july and I'm really excited for it. So let's see how it goes. I'll be, uh, you know, keeping you updated about all the things. So that's it about this video. Please let me know if you have any query in the comment section so that I can reply it back. You can join my uh, Telegram uh, channel and discussion group. The link is in the description. You can you can join there. You can connect me in the LinkedIn. You can connect me in Instagram. All the links are there in my channel uh, details. And if you like this video, please like it and share this video to other people. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, bye.